Hey there, my name is Deandra and with the release of Volume 3, all remix skins planned for Overwatch 1 are now out. Instead of doing a video review of the latest batch, I thought I'd rank them all from least favourite to favourite. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 18 and last on this list is Mechatron Farah. To me, the skin isn't bad, the colour scheme is actually quite nice, but it feels like filler when the remix volumes are already sort of filler anyway. Like, this is a skin you'll forget exists the moment you leave the loot box that you got it in, and that would probably still be the case if this was an actual new skin and not just a recolor. Number 17 is Arctic Ops Baptiste. Again, this skin isn't bad, in fact I think the contrast of white and blue is really nice. The reason I'm putting this so low, however, is that this is from Remix Volume 3, right? Well, after the first volume, I have absolutely had my fill of primarily white colour palettes, and if this had come out then, I probably would put it higher up. But Remix 3 is not only the last Remix event, but Overwatch 1 event altogether, so the bar is a little higher. I just kind of wish we had gotten something more vibrant and interesting instead, like a Venus Moira, Honeydew May, or any of the fan-made recolors I've seen recently. Also, this isn't the fault of the recolor, but I just find the base skin quite bland and really dislike the eye gear on this skin. Number 16, Steelheart Reinhardt. I like to call this the Xbox Rhine skin, but eh, it does almost nothing for me. The contrast looks a bit better on dark maps, but overall this feels like an Overwatch League away skin, especially with the green. It sort of feels like a HD version of Reinhardt's base skin actually, what with the same colour scheme, and it's just a guy in armour basically. Number 15, Noxious Roadhog. I spent a good 10 minutes trying to think of things to say about the skin, and the only notes I came up with were, the colour scheme is nice, doesn't hit as hard as the original, I like the purple. The way I would describe the skins I've talked about so far is, it's like when you were a kid and you would complain that you were hungry and your parents would be like, there's plenty of food in the fridge, so you open the fridge and then it's empty. Not actually empty, just nothing in there you want. 14. White Cat Diva Diva's Black Cat skin is one of my favourites, so I was really excited when I realised it was being remixed, but eh. I wish this skin had been in volume 2 with a lot more colour, since the white doesn't work super well here in my opinion. Maybe it's because Diva's mech is so big, but White Cat almost looks unfinished, like they left out the finalised texture. The splashes of pink are already cute, and so is the ginger hair, but sadly the rest is just a bland miss for me. Number 13, Tagged Tracer. Okay, so Graffiti is one of my favourite Tracer skins. The blue is gorgeous, and the splotches of paint scattered about her leggings look amazing too. Sadly, this remix version is a bit of a miss for me, and I'm not really sure why. The idea of written graffiti on clothing ideally should work, but <laughs> I think it's just the colour scheme. The purple hair is odd, there's again a lot of white, this yellow stain isn't great. Out of all the Remix event skins, I think I'm most sad about this one because it has so much potential. Number 12, Neon Cat Sombra. To give credit where it's due, the colour scheme here is nice and has a great contrast against the original. Neon Cat definitely stands out against other Remix variations. That being said, I'm just not a big fan of the original skin. I realise that it's a fun Halloween costume, but I don't like the hair and the silhouette just kind of feels muddied. Number 11 is Proteus76. You might be baffled to see this skin so high, and I get it. The base skin and colour scheme are horrendous, but two things. For starters, it is such a huge improvement over the original, and I think that deserves a lot of credit. Secondly, the colour scheme reminds me of Deus Ex Human Revolution, which is a game I was obsessed with when I was like 16, and I have a really soft spot for similar aesthetics. Number 10, Demon Genji. I realised the more I wrote about this skin, the more Genji footage I would have to put on screen, and I cannot play Genji for shit. This looks like I have bananas for fingers, so in summary, this skin is neat. I prefer the original, but the white works pretty well with the red and gold accents, especially the scarf. Number 9, Varsity Diva. Okay, so out of every skin on this list, Varsity Diva is the one I had most trouble placing. As a dirty blue hair and pronouns user, Diva's green braids really click with me. But why is her uniform missing so much colour? It almost looks like it's been grayscaled, and it's missing a lot of nuance compared to Academy. I definitely think she would look better with like a dark blue instead of grey. I also get what the mech is going for, but I think that just looks really bland as well. Number 8, Evermore Reaper. White is a colour that I generally don't think suits our favourite edgelord with unrestricted internet access, but the dark grey contrast elevates Evermore a lot, especially from behind. I think this is better than the Plague variant, but not the Nevermore. 
Number 7, Zalat Zenyatta. Zalat kinda rides on the coattails of cultists having such a strong base design, but I think this version is good too. The turquoise looks nice and the gold accents match the golden weapon very well, forming a very cohesive skin as long as you don't think about the theme too much. Not much to say about this one, but a good skin. Number 6, Dark Wolf Hanzo. The skin isn't amazingly memorable, but I think it transforms the original really, really well and looks so much better in comparison. The red eyes and pale skin are fantastic and make this very cohesive. Number 5, Hydra Symmetra. You know, it's always nice when they remember Symmetra exists and she gets some attention in these events, and this time is no different. I think I prefer the original, but an aquatic version is a really cool idea with solid execution. Number 4, Genji Man Genji. I gotta be honest, Volume 3 has probably been my least favourite, but I was hoping I could fit at least one in the top 5, and Genji Man kinda stole my heart. These skins obviously take a lot of inspiration from Japanese superhero team shows like Power Rangers, where you would have characters in different colours, so it makes so much sense to do variations. I also think this red one beats out the original green, especially with the great use of yellow on the helmet and silver centerpiece. Just really fun stuff with this one, I like it a lot. Number 3, Poison Dart Lucio. You know, I think Lucio is divisive, either you'll love this or you'll hate it, and I'm in camp love. This skin is really basic, but the reason the simplicity works so well for me while Faris ends up dull is because, well, you can clearly see what they were going for. The theme is obvious, well-fitting, and pretty well executed. It's a poison dart frog. Lucio likes frogs. Sometimes it's nice to get a skin that's fun and silly with huge black blobby eyes. My only critique is that it would have maybe benefited from some extra details. A lot of poisonous frogs in real life have spots and stripes that are absent here. Here. Number 2, Night Owl Anna. I keep going back and forth on which variant I prefer, but both look great. The purple and black mesh nicely together, especially when combined with Anna's golden weapon. It's easy to miss, but the glowing eyes are super sick as well. Also, the colour scheme is pretty similar to the LA Gladiators, so if you're a fan of them, you get a bit of a bonus with this skin. And last of all, number 1, Mage Mercy. It's obviously Mage Mercy. You probably guessed that before even clicking on this video. As a Mercy main, I'm biased here, but I think Mage looks absolutely fantastic, and not just because I think Witch Mercy is hot. I do wish they hadn't used white for the overall theme of Remix 1, variety would have been appreciated, but for this skin, it works really, really well. It's a very clean skin, and the blue complements nicely, with the shoes looking especially good. Also, not to be a boomer, but it reminds me of the mages from Final Fantasy Tactics, which is neat. It is kind of unfortunate though, because it means, for me, the remix event peaked with the first skin I saw. I don't think these remix skins were amazing, there's a lot that could have been done better, but I do think they did a perfectly fine job of filling in the gaps, which was essentially their purpose. Anyway, that is all from me. Being an Overwatch content creator is kind of rough at the moment, but I'm really hopeful for the future and I've got a lot of great stuff coming down the line. Thank you so much for watching, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, etc, etc, and have a nice day.